welcome back to Perseverance Pastures. My name is Victoria Thomas. I have brought us back down to our pond today because I'm doing a little bit of work and I'm gonna be treating it with our muck away, which kind of recapping from our last video is a beneficial bacteria uh, that slowly eats and dissolves the muck that's currently in the pond. Um, before I dive into today's video, I had a quick <laughs> correction from my last video. We have a duck weed problem in our current pond. We have several problems, but last video I kept saying duck algae. Duck algae is not a thing. <laughs> duck weed is a aquatic plant um, that we currently have just a plethora of in our pond. So I wanted to make that quick correction. I'm a little embarrassed by it because I knew it was duckweed. However, I just got stuck on saying duck algae. And fast forward a week, I was like, realized what I had been saying. <laughs> so just a quick correction. Um, on to the video, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I've stepped into our pond here. And you may ask, what exactly is muck? And what muck is, is dead organic matter that is decaying. Now this dead organic matter can be this pondweed, the leaves that are on the top. It can be dead frogs, fish, anything like that that dies, goes to the bottom of the pond and starts decaying. That's all pond muck is. It actually is a really good fertilizer for gardens and there's a lot of um, there's quite a few articles online that you can read about like the benefits of it. However, it is not currently beneficial in our pond, at least not at this magnitude that it is in. Um, the reason why muck is a problem in our pond and can be in other ponds is that if you get too much muck, it reduces the amount of oxygen in your pond where for instance your fish or if you have fish they will not be able to thrive because there's no oxygen um, which also will deplete or just cause a really big imbalance in your pond and you won't have a thriving ecosystem or another issue with too much muck is Right now, like where I'm standing in the pond, my foot is touching the actual bottom of the pond, which is probably about nine inches right now from where I am standing. Well, with the muck, I only have to reach down maybe four inches before I start feeling the, the muck. So it kind of reduces the level of just the amount of water in your pond, if that kind of makes sense. So by us reducing the muck, we'll hopefully regain some of our depth where hopefully maybe we could have fish one day. It's kind of hard to say because I haven't figured out yet exactly how deep our pond gets, uh, but reducing the muck will help. Another issue with having too much muck is it's, it's dead organic matter, so, and it's decomposing actively. So it's kind of stinky. <laughs> um, luckily our pond is not at that point where it's very smelly if it's just like if you're down here by it but as I walk in like I every step I take like I smell just like the decaying matter so that's you know kind of a problem as well um yeah so those are kind of the key components of why a like muck can be a problem uh, and that we're trying to fix as I've shown in the past Get to the section of the pond or embankment that you want to work on and you throw in your tablets i think you can with one scoop you can span i think up to like 70 feet i've been working in about 30 feet sections uh, to really uh, have a good impact on that side of the pond so i just toss them in i like to spread them out this beneficial bacteria, based on my understanding and reading, it doesn't hurt the pond or any of the wildlife that's currently in it. It doesn't hurt, um, it's a natural product that shouldn't affect in a negative way uh, if you have an overabundance of muck. now for about three two and a half months um, and 
you know, just to kind of show or say like it hasn't affected the wildlife. Is every time I've come down there, there's still plenty of frogs hopping, plenty of spiders. There has not been a detrimental change or shift that I have noticed because it is something I've been paying attention to to make sure like, you know, if all of a sudden I apply this and all the frogs disappear, you know, something's not right. But that hasn't happened, which is really good. All right, I have finished um, treating the pond with the beneficial bacteria of Muckaway. Uh, I hope you found uh, this video to be a little helpful, kind of diving into what exactly muck is and what it looks like. Um, and if you wanna check out our other pond video, I'll link it in the show notes. I have a time-lapse of me pulling out the duckweed uh, because I actually do uh, pull some of that off so I can add it to our compost pile. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Bye. Uh, this is a quick, just little post video tidbit. Um, so we're currently in a drought and uh, our water line has decreased by, I mean, I know our pond has just receded into itself. Uh, and so our muck is just, it's right here. But for instance, this is should be pond, but if I step, that's how much I sink before I hit the bottom. 